In today's video, Richard Subaru gets torn apart. Now that Martin is unwrapped, we've brought him here to Torque GT, a Japanese car specialist here in the UK, to get him properly back in the game. If you don't know about this car, this is Martin. He's a Subaru Impreza WRX STI V Limited, and he was Richard's car of choice for the latest Grand Tour Special. On that special, he gained a Martini livery, hence the name, and he took a bit of a battering along the way. But in today's video, this is gonna be the start of fixing him up and getting him back on the road so that he can be used like an Impreza should be. To kick things off, there's still some residue from the wrap and general grime from Norway on the car. So the sponsors of today's video, Liquid Molly, have sent us a bunch of cleaning products so that we know exactly what car we're starting with. After a quick rinse, it was time to get most of the muck and grime off using Liquid Molly's car wash and wax. Sorry, Richard, I promise to use a mitt next time. After another rinse, I quickly sprayed each wheel with what they call special rim cleaner. I love a bit of literal German translation. This stuff seeks out all the iron fallout and crud from the brakes and will give the wheel refurber a much easier job. It will also make the wheels more crud resistant in future. With the bodywork clean, I then sought out the leftover bits of glue from the wrap using their Orangian Turpin Cleaner which is highly effective as a degreaser and for dissolving tough residues. That makes it perfect for getting rid of the nasty rashes left by that horrid martini wrap and any marks from previous decals. It also smells like oranges too. Although it doesn't make too much sense right now because of all the work we're about to do, I would like to give the interior a quick clean because it is so grotty in here. I need to give it a hoover and I mean there's, there's a crampon in the footwell. The worst thing in here is that fossilised Harry bow that's kind of melted into the back seat here. When we collected the car, Richard admitted that that was from a bag of sweets from the Norway Special. What if I just... No, no. <laughs> A bit of interior cleaner and some display cleaner later and Martin was looking in much better shape. Right, all the glue is now off him. He's a bit less biscuity inside. Let's get Martin into the body shop and see what's what. Steve, you are a bodywork technician here at Torque. You've had a quick look around Martin. What do you make of him? From a scale from one to 10, it's a good seven. I've seen a lot worse. That's not It bad doesn't then. scare me at all. It's okay, all right. so how are we gonna tackle this then? I know we've got new parts coming for, especially the front bumper, yep. but there's always been a bit of bubbly rust. How are we gonna tackle this? Front bumper's not an issue. We've got a new part coming, yep. whip it off, paint it, bang it back on. Cool. The back arches, we're gonna rip the back bumper off, take mm -hmm. the lights out, take the paint down to bare metal, and whatever rust is there, we're gonna cut out and replace with new arches. I like it. Cameraman, who's gonna be editing this one? Matt, okay. Please, can we edit this montage to a slightly dodgy version of a 2000s drum and bass track? Okay, 
Montage starting in three, two, one. The front of Martin is now exposed and um, yeah, it's not the cleanest. You can see this enormous sump guard that the Grand Tour mechanics put on it so it could do things like jumping on ice. But in installing this, they seem to have wrecked the front end of the car. There were virtually no original clips or bolts in place. It was either zip ties or nothing. Everything's just kind of hanging loose. It will have protected the car but there will need to be some effort put in to get this back to normal. Something we have uncovered, there's this cross member here, which supports the cooler for the air conditioning. And um, yeah, that is not in a good shape at all. That is looking quite British, and I don't think it would fail an MOT because it's just supporting the aircon, which isn't vital. If it was supporting the radiator, a different story. I think we'd be okay with that, but for peace of mind, Let's get that fixed. Coming into this, I'd had a lot of messages from you guys warning me about how bad these Subarus can be. But this one, Martin's looking all right. I can't see anything wrong with the sills at all. It's all been sealed, rust protected. This is a really solid car. Apart from the bubbling at the rear arches, there's nothing wrong with the front arches at all. Martin's a bit of a beast. We've had our first exploratory grind. Steve, that side was okay, wasn't it? But this oh. is by far the worst side. And yes. you think someone's done a bit of work here before? Someone's put a little bit of filler in that before, yeah, without okay. a doubt. And then some welds underneath as well. There's some. Uh, different... No, there's some spot welds here, here, and here, which we've got to take out. Okay. But in the beginning, what we're going to do is make a couple of cuts. One, and then one going along the top, yep. and down in there, and we'll lever it open to reveal What's underneath? Okay. Here's some there. <laughs> and with that, our first bit of Martin is properly removed. But Steve, you're not too happy with We're not happy with the inner there. arch. As you can see, that the inner arch is dissolved as well, and we're going to have to replace that. It's a bit rover, that. But the, so, yeah, you're hoping it was just this, but yes, it's gone a layer deeper. It's gone a layer deeper, and that's going to have to be cut out. This is what you find with rusty Subaru. We have got aftermarket peel arches to go back on the car, but Steve, because of this, you're going to need to fabricate your yes. own inner. <laughs> I'm going to have to fabricate the inner arch yeah. to take the outer arch that welds around the actual outer wheel arch. So I'm going to have to cut out a little bit of this and let that into the panel. Easy. Easy. While Steve worked his magic on the arches, I thought I'd head on through to Torque GT's showroom to unveil some of their hidden gems. You guys may be wondering why the car has moved from the smallest cog, and there's two main reasons. One, because they're absolutely slammed with TV work right now, and two, just how epic the pedigree is here at Torque GT. This showroom is full of all the crazy rare JDM specs of these cars, starting with a Forester STI. How much do you want one of those as a daily? NSX Type R, all the Senna vibes. There are three R34 GTRs in here. Two of them are V-Spec 2s, and then this one is the daddy, V-Spec 2 NUR, as in Nürburgring. It's got a carbon fibre bonnet, it's got a fully uprated engine, racing engine in it. 
and I think it's the best color of any Skyline GTR ever. This showroom is absolutely epic. If you guys came in here, you'd want everything in here and it's all at tip top level. As you can see, we've cut this out now, yep. and we've cut the inner one out, and if we look in behind, there is no rust to be seen on the inner wheel up. So we've got all that out, and it's just a matter of fabricating up some patches, again, like the other side. It's interesting, it, it looked better than the other side, but once you actually cut That's into right. it, you just it's never just the know. Same. You never know until you start cutting what you're gonna find. I'm really happy with the start to this project. This car could have been an absolute rotter of an Impreza, like so many of them are in this country, but Martin is a really solid piece of kit. I was not expecting any welding to happen today, but the fact that Steve's already got some fresh metal on the car, this project's really cracking on now. We're now gonna leave this Impreza with the team here at Talk for a few days, and they're gonna do some more welding, and in the next episode, there'll be paint going on the car, some fresh parts, as well as a wheel refurb, because these lovely golden wheels are in one hell of a state. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I've been Mike, and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe.